hello everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, I just wanted to take a body shot. Um, today is Thursday, the 5th or 6th, I don't know. Um, and I weighed this morning and I have lost a total of 49 pounds. Yay, 49 pounds. Uh, I think I'm finally starting to look like I've lost some weight. Um, yeah, it's taken a while because I, I am so large. So, uh, But now I'm starting to kind of see it in my clothes. These pants, uh, I have never worn them before. They still have the tags on them because when I bought them, they were a bit snug. And as you can see now, uh, they're fitting quite nicely. Perfectly, in fact. So I hope I get to wear them a couple of times before I lose out of them. But that won't be a bad thing. Uh, so that's enough body shot. Uh, let me get this set up here so we can talk. It has been a really crappy few weeks. Um, when I went for the surgery, um, I was trying to get on my husband's insurance and he, um, his insurance would not take me, number one, of course, because of my weight, but number two, because I take Pristique, which is an antidepressant. So, in order for me to qualify for his insurance, I have to be under 250 pounds and off of Pristique or any antidepressant for one solid year. So, I discussed it with my doctor and... You know, barring me getting a job that has my own insurance that would accept me the way I am, um, I really need to get on my husband's insurance. So we talked it over. I'm getting therapy, so he figured, you know, I'd be okay. So I've slowly taken myself off of the Pristique. And in a couple of the early videos from uh, Puerto Vallarta, you could see, you know, I'm just like weeping at the drop of a hat for no reason. So, just been very emotional, and the past few weeks, I guess I've just been, I was on a really big high when my mom and I went to St. Louis, and we had a really great time, and then it just, I got more and more sullen the closer we got to home. I just, I think I'm tired of living here, but I'm kind of stuck here because, you know, my mother is here, and um, my husband doesn't really want to live anywhere else and you know I do have a home here so it's not like I can just pick up and leave but and I, I'm okay with that I mean you can't run from your problems not that I'd be running but it's just I hate I hate living here it's so far from everything else I just I get here and I get reclusive and I just want to stay home I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to see anybody and you would think that would be changing because Sometimes I've, I, you know, different times in my life I have felt like if I wasn't doing something about my weight, then I was ashamed and I was disappointed in myself and I didn't feel like I deserved to be living life and enjoying life. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's where I was at. And I'm still there. Sometimes, you know, if I haven't been doing really well with my diet or working out, which I haven't been, um in the last two weeks I have not worked out I know bad girl bad girl I'm trying to change these behaviors that got to me or got me to this size um, so when I'm not doing those things that are actively trying to you know help my situation with my weight then I just don't I don't feel good about myself and I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to see people so I tend to stay home well, I've been in the house for about two weeks now, not going anywhere. I think I went out to get a bag of ice and maybe grocery shop one night. That's pretty bad. Um, I've been obsessed with food, just like I always have been. If I'm not eating it, I'm cooking it. If I'm not cooking it, I'm eating it. Um, I just still have a long way to go. And I'm really struggling with the therapy because you know I don't understand I guess you know they always want you to go back in therapy think back to your childhood and what upset you in your childhood that you never dealt with and that's what's causing you to have problems now and 
I just kind of, I got over all of that, and now that I'm having to dredge it all up again and talk about the stuff again, it's just pissing me off all over again. And upsetting me, and I just, I want to move on. But I know that I'm going to be in the same position with my weight and my mindset about food if I don't deal with my problems. So, I don't know. It's a very tricky situation. I'm just kind of trying to balance the two, and it's just, it's hard. It is hard, people. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm doing better. Um... I think the last video I made, I was it was like October 6th or something, so it's almost been a month, so um, I don't know where I was at that point. I should have looked back at the videos, but whatever. Moving forward, <laughs> right now, to date, I've lost 49 pounds. I'm down to 371, uh, and I lost 6 pounds while I was on vacation. I have to throw that in there because I don't think I've ever lost weight on a vacation before. Uh, but I did a lot of walking, you know, so, um, I just, I, I need to get back in the swing of things, and I think because I stalled out last week, I didn't have weight gain or loss, and I just, I don't deal with that well. I want to see results. I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people, but we all do it. And I feel like I should have lost more weight than this. I was freaking huge. I still am. You know, 49 pounds and you can barely tell I've lost any weight. It's frustrating. I know some people are fans of Big Biggest Loser and some aren't. But anyways, I really appreciate the fact that Shay is on there because finally there's a girl that's really my size, you know, not these 250 pounders, um, you know, someone that's over 400, that's so young, like me, that knows the struggle of being that obese. Uh, so I'm, she's my hero right now, and I just, you know, she's lost, gosh, I don't know how much weight in like eight weeks, 60, 70 pounds in eight weeks, um, but I'm not willing to put my body through that kind of torture and torment in the gym. So, I have to give her props, you know. Um, I just can't do that. I've hurt myself several times already. I've had to go to the chiropractor. Um, I love the water aerobics, but now that I'm in there, you know, I rejoined after I, you know, got the uh, stitch sites healed up and was able to get back in the water. And I'm too big for it. I know that sounds crazy. They say, oh, if you're really big, you should do the water aerobics. It's less impact, blah, blah, blah. Well, it is, except that... I'm so large that when I'm going down in the water, my fat's going up in the water. And when I'm going up, my fat's going down. So I'm constantly like this, which throws my hip and my back out. And then I have to go to the chiropractor. And I'm limping around for two or three days. And I can't get stuff done that I need to get done around the house. I know, this is one big blah, blah, blah fest. I'm sorry. I just, I need to vent. I've been venting for about two days now. And I'm almost done, I promise. Uh, the weight loss on the scale this morning really, really helped. So I'm going to get my crap together and get back with the program. I've got a cruise to go on in a month. So I really, really want to get looking as good as I can before I go. Number one, the bathrooms are small, I hear. Number two, I need to find some type of formal dress. I don't know that I can fit in one from, like, the fat girl clothes uh, catalogs, like Romans, Woman Within, Lane Bryant, that kind of thing. So, I really, I need to do something and try and lose as much weight as I can before then. So, I'm going to get my stuff together, and I'll be back with another update. Sorry it took so long. I'm going to try and do better. I just have not been in the mood, so... There you have it. Uh, hope you all have a great week. I'm having a much better time. And uh, I'll try and make another video soon. Okay. See ya. Bye.